guys. I'm Mindy with Cactus Kids Art Studio and I am going to do a little activity today that you can do at home with your kids while you are um, stuck at home, I guess, during this time off. So I teach kids art classes. I normally do them in person in my home, so I haven't done them online, but I had this brilliant idea today that we should um, do some online classes because everybody's at home right now. So, um, supplies you need, let's see. So, a piece of white construction paper. It's just a regular construction paper out of a pack of colored paper, it's the white one. Um, some watercolors. Do some watercolors, and you need your brush, watercolor brush and some water. And then a white crayon. If you have um, oil pastels, you can use the white oil pastel, but if you don't, just a white crayon. And actually, a dull crayon is even better than a sharp crayon for this activity. And then this is kind of what we're making. Get the focus on it. So um, you can do any shape you want, any designs you want. I just did a circle, so I used a plastic plate that fits onto my paper. So any type of plate and then a ruler to draw lines with. So that's all our supplies. So if you want to do this with your kids, it's super fun, it's super easy, and it's a cool project that they can do while they're at home. So I'm just gonna turn the camera down and you can just kind of watch what I'm doing here. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw a circle on our paper or whatever color or shape you want it to be. And we're just using a white crown for this. And um, what this does is because it's oily, it's a waxy crayon, it does what's called a watercolor resist. So the watercolor will not go where the crayon is. So you want it pretty thick. So I'm gonna kind of trace it around multiple times to get a nice thick circle on there. And yes, you say it's hard to see white on white, but you can, if you get it right, you can see it on there when you're doing it yourself. And then I'm gonna use the ruler to just do random lines. And if you want it to be more organized, you can do that. And again, I'm gonna go back and forth multiple times to make it a little bit thicker. And I'm just gonna do lots of just random lines inside my circle. And these are gonna be the different shapes of our stained glass window here. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. Hi, Catherine. And do lots of different lines. And I have thought about doing like a more organized lines on here, but it's it's more fun just to do it random because then I don't have to be so anal about measuring out <laughs> lines or something like that. But it would be pretty if you had it like all measured out nice and nice and pretty. Okay, so I have lots of random lines on there. Um, and I know you can't see it on the camera, but um, when I hit it with the light, I can see where they are on there. So now I'm just gonna take my watercolors. And watercolors are activated by water. So if you just wanna choose a color, whatever color, I'm gonna do pink first, and I'm gonna put water on it to get it activated. And then I'm just going to start putting it in sections. So I'm gonna paint right up to those lines and the paint is actually gonna not cross those lines because, um, here, I'll give you an example. So if I go over the line, it leaves the line there so you can still see the lines where I went over. And I'm just gonna use that pink and paint in multiple places right now while I've got it wet. I'm just 
I'm gonna do a few of them pink and then I'll change to a new color. And with watercolors, if you want it to be lighter, you just put more, more color in it or more water in it. If you want it to be darker, you put less. For something like this, I usually will do something a little lighter because it's stained glass. <laughs> Catherine is under the table here. Trying to see where my lines are. It's, I turned on a brighter light and it makes the lines that I did harder to see than a normal light. And I started teaching kids art classes because there were not a lot of options out there for Catherine who wanted to take an art class. So after looking into it, I decided I've done a lot of art stuff. I enjoy doing that. I'm just gonna start teaching classes. So I've done a lot of classes myself to educate myself and now I teach kids classes and it's a lot of fun. That's a kind of a good way to get kids off of the electronics and into a more artsy type stuff because they don't get a lot of art in school. My kids are lucky because they do have art. A lot of schools I know just completely gotten rid of it, which is super sad. But at least my kids do have some art. What you doing over there, Cashy? So I'm just changing colors around. I'm doing blue now. Watercolors are transparent. That means you can see through them. So if you do this on a color of, of paper other than white, you'll be able to see that color through. That's why I choose white. Um, you could try it on a light colored paper, like a yellow or a light pink or something, but you will still be able to see the colors through it. Let's see what color, we'll do yellow next. And my kids are on their scheduled spring break this week. So we were planning on being off of school, but they do, they canceled school in Arizona for the next two weeks. So we have unscheduled spring break next week. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We'll have to find lots of fun stuff to do. Catherine made up a list of things that I was surprised included doing laundry. So I guess she's super looking forward to being off school if she's ready to do laundry. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But at least she's getting stuff planned for us. Um, I just thought of doing this today, but I think I'm gonna try and come up with some more ideas and do some more this week. So make sure that you are following our Facebook page you can share this if you want so your friends can do it. Um, I'll try to do one each day this week because that would be a fun thing to do. But since I just thought of this idea, I have not got anything else planned yet. <laughs> this was my first idea. So we'll see what else I can come up with. But keep an eye on our Facebook page and um, we'll have some more fun stuff. All right, so I did my whole circle. You can kind of see it's got the white lines where I did the crayon. If you wanna make it stand out more, you can paint the outside of it a darker color. So, um, I did black on the one I did as an example. So that was this one right here. Um, and just painted it on real quick. So it just makes it stand out cool. And I think it's pretty, I, I love just random colorful things. So that was my experiment for today. So I hope you guys had fun. You can definitely 
do whatever you want to make this creative and make it more your own and your do it with your kids. But um, definitely share it. Let your friends know. Give them something else to do this weekend because, oh, it's going to be fun. Good times with our kids being home for who knows how long. Um, so, yeah, make sure you follow our Facebook page, Cactus Kids Art Studio, and come back tomorrow. I'll try to have another one for you. Thanks. Bye.